This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar introducing Adobe Media Encoder CC. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to configure a watch folder to compress your files automatically. The last thing that we have to do is to create a watch folder. I want to animate this. Let's go to watch folder. So here, I'm going to create a new folder called Drop Files Here. I'm going to set a watch folder. Click the plus button. Go to the desktop. Find my Drop Files Here. Okay, so it found the file. It applied a default compression setting, which I don't want. I want to have it automatically compressed to my web preset. And it's going to store the files inside the output section. Watch what happens. Take source clip. I'm going to drag these three clips into the watch folder. And now, after just a couple seconds, the watch folder says, oh, hey, there's something in there. I'm going to compress it. Without me touching a button, it finds all the files in the watch folder and compresses them. The only rule is that Adobe Media Encoder must be running for the watch folders to work. So I've got to leave it run in the background. Well, I, just yesterday, last night, I was sleeping, and I said, I want to have something happen while I'm asleep. So I had Media Encoder encode 120 files overnight using a watch folder. Because it was fast, it worked great. So now it's done. There's nothing else in the folder that has to be done. Open up the folder, and I see two new folders have been added. There's my source files. And here's my output files. There he is. Whittling away. Now you're going to notice there's no watermark down here because I added the watermark to the individual setting. I didn't add it to the the master setting, but the process is the same. And that is, just to show you, just to reinforce, select the setting you want to change. Click this icon to open up the preset settings. Go to Effects. Turn on the image overlay by checking it. Click the Applied. Choose. Find the overlay that you want to use watermark. Adjust the opacity. I generally use 60% and click OK. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at Adobe Media Encoder CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 239. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.